Now, for the other connectors, these here are mounted inside these brackets. Just depress those connectors, push it forward, and pull it right out. You're going to want to pop this pin, push this down a little bit, which you may have to remove this zip tie that's right there. Slide these apart. Take this off completely and then put the, the cable back together, slide those back together and put this end on these here so we can just pull these right out of the, the top of the case instead of having wires hanging off the case. Then over here we're going to need to make a cutout size to fit this connector which you just pulled off of the off, off of the base and this will mount like so so this will you'll have to push this in from the bottom and it'll be about right here and then these here will push into that and connect to the motors um, the motor controller, these wires here, when I had it configured in the back, if you're going by my schematic, I believe I had the positive uh, wire lead for the motor controllers, or for the motors, um, on the outsides, and the negative on the inside, um, and which gave me uh, left and right, uh, respectively, for M2 and M1. I may have to reverse those in order to get the forward motion so I don't have to cross the wires over because I'm also going to have uh, signal wires coming over here and the signals that are going into the motors from the motor controller may interfere with that. So um, if you do have crossed wires in order to get everything to move right without changing or reconfiguring the software for the motor controller. Um, you're going to want to use some shielded wires or shielding over top of those just so you don't get any stray signals 